could sit, they can could sit, they could, uh, may we consider rather, Mr. President, I still haven't had my coffee, may we consider the budget of the Department of Public Works and Highways and recognize the sponsor, Senator right. Sunny Angara, and to uh, interpolate our dear colleague from Cavite, Senator Pan Filipino. All right, uh, hearing no objection, we now tackle the budget of the Department of Public Works and Highways and recognize Senator Sunny Angara as a sponsor and to interpolate Senator Pain Lasson. Thank you, Mr. President. <coughs> Yesterday, House Deputy Speaker El Rey Villaperte claimed in a television interview that a 500 million peso appropriation for a project vaguely described as Cannon Road, no? plain and simple, Cannon Road, was a case of typo error. Later in the day, he corrected himself and said he was actually referring to a 15 million peso uh, project or project request actually in Cagayan province. Mr. President, how could he even know that? No. Those items are originally found in the National Expenditure Program, uh, submitted by Malacanang to Congress after the President Sona in July, adopted by the House and transmitted to us here in the Senate. The national budget, Mr. President, is not a guessing game. It, it can never be guesswork. It is to be studied painstakingly, scrutinized diligently. It takes a lot of hard work and even passion on, on our part and on the part of our staff to even, before we even can even understand what the national budget is all about. Having said that, uh, will the distinguished sponsor yield to some very easy questions, Mr. President? I, I hope so, because uh, the gentleman from Cavite knows the PDPWH budget better than this representation, Your Honor. Uh, yung first topic is konting pangungumusta lang, Mr. President, kasi uh, we raised certain issues during the last budget hearing, or even hearings, ano? Uh, yung una, yung Sariaya Bypass Road, yung case study, na suspend dito, gusto lang malaman ng na namin dito sa Senate, ano na yung status? Was the suspension lifted already? Has uh, civil works resumed or abandoned na yung project? This is a 400 million peso project. So, gusto lang malaman kung ano yung status. It, it's no longer suspended. It's ongoing, Your Honor. Oh, and you. uh, According to the Secretary, it will be completed in the first quarter of uh, next year. Next year. Thank you very much. Thank you for the information. Another project, yung road widening, primary roads, roads or mock by by Southern Leyte, boundary roads, including ROW, 200 million pesos. See, based on the 11 December 2018 report submitted by DPWH, Ang target accomplishment for 2018, 18.09%. No? We exceeding actual physical accomplishment at 275 So we just would like to find out ano na nangyari ulit. Our finding Kasi may mga ROW issues kung settled na finally. I understand most of the claimants were already paid eh, because covered ng homestead patent. Pero mukhang marami na nabayaran dito. The project so, is ongoing, Your Honor. Ah, ongoing. ongoing. And po, po. kailan kaya makakompleto? In the second half of 2020, Your second Honor. Second half. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Thank you, Your Honor. We'll just so... Uh, run this very quickly. <coughs> Yung 10 million, oh, never mind. Anyway, it's, it's shown naman on the screen. 
Paki-take note na lang. So, uh, we'll just await the submission of the report kung ano yung... On this, you want a yeah. submission on these projects, Your Honor? Yeah, on this, on this project. Uh, we will because look. just to let them know that we don't easily forget, Mr. President. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Uh, we will ask the Secretary and the Department to furnish us uh, reports on these uh, specific projects you asked for. Ito rin, yung bypass and diversion roads in Cagayan de Oro, 374 million. There's another project, 200 million, yung Junction Maramag, Maradugao Road, Junction, Lampanusan Road Extension. Sa bukid nun. Oh. Kumusta na po yung... Ah, maganda. How about the issues raised during the last hearing? And ito pala yung RD ng uh, 10? Uh, so your negotiation? Your Honor, regarding the Cagayan de Oro project, which is in the neck of the woods of uh, our good majority leader, okay na daw yung project, except there is one house that uh, ah. they have paid for the land, yeah. but the house, they're under nego negotiation for the price of the house, Your Honor. Yun na lang po. So um, isang, isa na lang isang bahay na lang daw. Okay. Oh, oh. Yung sa Maramag, we are inquiring now. All right. Yung Batanga City, San Pascual, Bawan Road, including ROW. Ito ba yung nabayaran na kalapit? Parang nandun pa rin yata yung bahay kasi nabayaran na kalapit, which is well within your uh, ito po, regulation. Ito po sa Batangas. We're, we're inquiring. Sir, Mr. Para lang Mr. Na Your Honor, if it's alright with you, could you give us the list of projects so ngayon pa lang yeah, we will. tingin we'll, uh, natin we'll sa provide. kanila? We'll provide. Okay. Para lang... Settled na yan. So, what's going to happen? Gagawin, gagawin yung project. Anong status yung project? Ongoing construction? Anong likely date of uh, completion? Hindi, anong date? Nakaba yung section. Hindi, anong matatap? For the Batangas, Your Honor, they said the right-of-way issue when the house has been settled. And around February, they, that funded portion will be completed, Your Honor. Yeah. Thank you. So, so much for that. Let's proceed uh, to the next topic. Yung regional allocation, central office versus regional. We discussed this during the, the, during the committee hearing, yes, actually. Your Honor. No, yung 65.5 uh, against 34.5 yung central office sa kayong regional location. Ang issue rito kasi yung uh, iyaw, the issue of iyaw. Kasi pagka re, re, central office, 3.5 yung iyaw. Pag regional, 2.5. And then pagka district uh, level, Honor, apparently they it, they find it useful for the central office to augment their existing MOE, uh, although a bulk of it also goes down to the regions. Your Honor. Yeah, that's exactly uh. the same issue that I raised, ano? Kasi uh, merong discrepancy, eh. 3.5, 2.5, and 2 percent. Yes, Your Honor. So, ang reason na sinabi, I, I think it was Asek Palafox who, yeah, ang sabi po ninyo, anak po ba kayo ni Jun? Ah, hindi, okay. Ang sabi po kasi ninyo noon, uh, di na-download din naman. 
Diba? It's being downloaded anyway. So you might as well latch it in the central office uh, para na monitor ninyo. Do you not regularly monitor the performance of your district offices? Kailangan pa bang hawakan nyo yung, uh, yung pondo and then uh, hindi ida-download pa rin pero yung uh, iyaw, <coughs> engineering administrative uh, overhead, eh, nakaritin sa, sa central office. May COA issue po dyan eh. Kasi eto, uh, COA observation do sa iyaw. Unrelated expenses, charge against engineering and administrative overhead, EAW, 106 million. Ang sanabi ng COA, various expenditures with aggregate amount of 106 million 605,643 pesos and 60% tapos, which are not directly related to the pre-construction and implementation of the projects, were charged against EAW funds contrary to the special provision number 13 of the GAA of 2018. So, <coughs> bawal po eh, hindi pwedeng gamitin. Hindi pwedeng pang augment ng ng MOE sa central office. Okay lang if it serves the purpose of augmenting the MOE. Pero kung hindi naman, Makatipid na lang yung gobyerno ng a few hundred million pesos, hundred, hundreds of millions of pesos. Kung i-download na lang natin o, o i-allocate na lang yung pondo sa regional or district para ka makatipid do sa iyaw. Kasi malaki rin difference. <clears throat> when we talk of hundreds of millions uh, of pesos worth of projects or even billions, Papalo rin ito ng uh, nasa isang daang milyon na iyaw na sana masasave. Anyway, nilakihan nyo na yung authority, di ba? 100 million for district yeah. engineer. They're uh, willing to study uh, yes. your, your uh, suggestion, Your Honor. And uh, you, they, also work, they also told me they're working with COA as to how to yeah. improve that in respect to that uh, Finding, Kasi kung para ma-monitor lang yung district uh, engineering offices, siguro continuous naman din, regularly you can monitor who deliver, who can deliver and who cannot deliver. And para pag the download, distribution ng uh, funds. Sinong magagaling gumamit? Sinong po? magagaling gumamit? Tama, tama. Yun na lang tama mga hindi, yung mga laggards, yun na lang ang bantayan siguro i-closely monitor or i-keep nyo yung uh, pondo so they can be closely monitored. Pero not on a scale of, good morning ma'am. <laughs> Morning, Senator Villar. <laughs> yes, it's a good suggestion, Your Honor. Now, we go now to the issue raised by uh, Deputy Speaker for Finance, Villa Perte. Cannon Road. No? Yes, Your Honor. I, I, uh, explain, when you raised that, I asked them to yeah, prepare something already. Kindly explain, yeah. bakit yung description nito, Cannon Road lang, 507 million pesos. Well, they're not sure why it, uh, it was a, probably an oversight on their part, but the, the, now they have uh, broken it down, Your this Honor. This was a, uh, yeah. an issue raised by Senator Dillon, you know, yung unused appropriations. And I, I, I don't, you know, I don't blame DPWH for this. Alam naman natin yung reality sa ground, especially reality sa, sa Congress, the Senate, the Senate included, you know, na may mga projects dyan na hindi nyo talaga alam. Ang problema, kung hindi nyo alam kung paano napasok yung project sa NEP, dahil submissions ito ng legislators, how can you efficiently implement? Yun ang problema. Eh kayo yun naman yung nasisisi pag malaki yung unused appropriations. So, I think the, they're, they're telling me now, Your Honor, that uh, at the time when the NEP was prepared, it was not really validated. So now it has undergone validation and uh, these are the... So, meron ng uh, stationing? Ang problema rito, wala, po, very po. vague eh. Uh, it, it is, uh, they're State. submitting it for the errata and it's, uh, I can see it broken down here. We'll submit to your honor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Kasi, ang, ang worry ko dito, 507 million pesos for Cannon Road. There's another 76 million pesos right. for Cannon Road, pero may stationing. 
So baka maulit yung tinikap natin sa committee hearing, yung overlapping. Baka naman yung 76 million, kasama na sa 507, eh merong uh, double allocation or appropriation. Your Honor, uh, thank problema. you. They, they thank you for pointing it out actually. And uh, I think uh, the nation should be grateful to you because... Uh, they have, they have, because of your observation, they have made it specific, Your Honor. Yes, kasi kung covered na, doon sa 507 million yung 76, alisin na lang natin yung 76. Separate. Magkaiba daw ho. Mag ah, magkaiba. magkaiba Ibang daw sections. Magkaiba daw okay. section. Okay. So, pero baka pwede mag-submit lang sa committee. Not necessarily sa akin, but to the Senate. Ah, yes, yes, certainly. Yung, we will, we will uh, ask for that, Your Honor. Along with the other reports you requested earlier. Yung earlier project. Updates lang. May we know if there are RDC uh, car endorsed projects na na-include sa NEP? Uh, yes, sir. Either just retrieving the data, yeah. but meron daw. Kasi as we discussed during the uh, general principles deliberations, di ba 25% lang yung in ng national government <coughs> na submission okay. ng RDC? Yes, yes, sir. So, yun, I... <coughs> I also pointed out na kaya nagkakaroon ng disconnect do sa needs and priorities and the national budget itself kasi nga yung output na nanggagaling sa mga local development uh, plans no, as submitted to the RDC hindi naman ito nakikiri sa national government and uh, there is reason to believe na baka yung DPWH ganun din na kaya ang tanong ko ilan yung nakikiri at least sa Carmona uh, Yes, Your Honor uh, I think for 2020, it's 20%, Your Honor. I think for 2020? 20% who ata? Ah, 20%? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, na, but, but that's for nationwide, ho, yeah, for nationwide, the whole DPWH. Uh, so Di ba masyadong mababa? In comparison for the other agencies, medyo on the low side. Yeah. Siya. Oh, because we have, uh, as, as you went, you brought up the topic, there are some who are reached as high as 100%, may 70%, may 60%. Yung DTI, matas. Oh, yung... Uh, yeah, as submitted by uh, RDC, 614 million. Ano? Pero yung na-provide lang sa ng budget sa NEP, 123. So 20% nga, for tama. I'm sure... Outside of the 20%. Yeah. Uh, what they're saying, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, is that outside of the 20% which uh, emanates from the RDC, for some of their projects, they also seek the RDC approval. So, kumbaga, na-reverse lang yung process. Kumbaga... Before they proceed? Before they proceed. Ang problema yes, doon, it's already in the uh, GAA. Opo, opo. So, unused. <laughs> kung halimbawa... Parang no choice yung ano. Hindi lang no choice. Halimbawa, hindi kailangan ng, uh, ng mga LGUs. Siyempre, yung RDC will also get the comments of the LGUs concerned. Kung hindi kailangan, mapupunta yan sa unutilized. They said they get it before they proceed, Your Honor. But it's already in the GAA. Before, Diba dapat... Before the GAA daw, sabi nila, Your Honor. Before the GAA? Eh, 20% nga lang ito eh. <laughs> GAA na nga yung pag-uusapan natin. For their convergence program, it's required actually, Your Honor, sabi nila. Uh, if, it, if the RDC does not approve it, it will not be included in their if convergence program. If we can only, program. you know, reverse in, yung ratio. Increase, increase the... Oh, increase. Yeah. Yung, yung 80% perhaps, yung galing sa RDC, 20% lang yung hindi. Perhaps, Mr. President, we'll ask them for concrete proposals on how they plan to increase this percentage. Alam ba, sa Aurora, uh, Mr. President, siguro mas gusto nyo na nang gagaling doon sa Aurora province. At saka madali lang ho yung, kasi walo lang ho yung bayan then, eh. Yeah. There's only 150 barangays in Aurora. Di ba, mas so maganda uh, yung output ng really local development plan ng Aurora province yes. na nang galing sa mga municipalities Tapos it's a bit sa RDC. Yes, Your Honor. Na-adapt na -adapt ng uh, national. Yes. In fact, Your Honor, when, before I propose anything in the GAA, I'd like to disclose that I make sure that the locals approve of that yes. project. I don't, I don't propose anything that, that they oppose, Your Honor. So, and that should be the correct procedure kasi no. kung ini-impose na lang natin from the national government to the local, yes, baka may may hindi pala nila kailangan yun. That was actually also mentioned in the, in the PDAF case, Your Honor, yes. that uh, there is some violation of local autonomy if uh, local there is autonomy. no consultation. Your local order. government code. Yeah. So we'll ask the DP to come up with uh, maybe some concrete proposals as to how to raise this, uh, this uh, 
But maybe they should furnish also the congressman with a list, Your Honor, of uh, the yes. RDC projects para alam rin nila ano lang ipropose. No, ang procedure, di ba, the congressmen, they're also members of the local development councils. Eh. They can participate. Doon sila makipag-debate. And then they will act, sila, sila na lang yung mag-shepherd sa house na siguradong yung na-approve nila sa local development plans nila, hindi matatanggal. Di ba ganun dapat? Hindi, yung, hindi naman sila nakikialam doon. Opo. Pagdating sa Congress, sila na lang basta namimili. Ideally, And, in an ideal world, yes, Your Honor, you're correct. Opo. But we can make the situation we ideal. We should move eh. towards that uh, yes. ideal world, Your Honor. I agree with you. We, we, will, we will ask the DPWH to... We'll try to go down to ground level and see where, where the improvements can be made, Your Honor. Uh, uh, thank uh, you. Maybe giving listings to the congressmen, what the RDC proposes. Yes. So, yeah. Kasi talking of needs and priorities, sino ba mas nakakaalam, national or local? Siyempre local, di ba? Opo, pero ang, ang Congress, I was a congressman once. Yeah. I, I, that it's, a, it's kind of a, a semi-national, semi-local job din. Although some, yung ibang congressman, hindi rin umuwi sa kanilang distrito. Pero yeah. uh, in fairness, I, I would go home every other week, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, kasi medyo mahaba yung biyahe. Pero may mga congressman, every week, nandun ho sa distrito. Merong congressman. Consultation. In a week, uh, halos every week, nandun ho. So it, it, it's, it's a case-to-case -case basis, you know. So I, I just hope that we improve uh, in that department, you know. We, we'll... Like we'll, we'll uh, We'll work with you and the uh, DPWH for that. It's a, it's a very worthy goal, Your Honor. Yeah. Another item that we discovered, yung rehabilitation, reconstruction, upgrading of damaged paved roads. Ang pangalan lang, Manila North Road. Alam nyo, yung Manila North Road, ito yung MacArthur Highway, eh, officially known as Manila North Road. Eh, mahaba, mahaba. Oh, mahaba nito, 500 kilometers. Eh. Saan sa Manila North Road yung project? There's 150 million peso worth of project, or pesos worth of project, Manila North Road, period. Ang haba po nito, mula Kalaokan, mula doon sa statwa ni Bonifacio hanggang sa Ilocos Norte. Saan natin gagawin yung 150 million? which engineering district will implement from Caloocan to Ilocos it Norte. <laughs> It's the regional office of Region 3, Your Honor. And now, ah, nilagyan na rin po ng uh, uh, nasa Irata na raw. Manila North Road, kilometer 44 plus 500 to kilometer 48 plus 572, kilometer 50 plus 328, kilometer 50 plus 700. So, nilagyan na ho nila uh, thanks to your uh, But eagle the eye. Yung station, meron na? Opo. Uh, sige, uh, thank you. Paki... We, we'll ask them to furnish you with the, yes, the, thank you. the changes. Oh. Another <coughs> stretch, yung Jasa, Jose Abad Santos Avenue. Ang dami po nitong Jose Abad Santos Avenue. Saan po ito? 156.6 million pesos. Ang sinabi lang dito, Jose Abad Opo. Santos Avenue. Of course, nakita naman nasa Region 3. Pero tinignan namin, ang daming Jose Abad Santos eh. Your Honor, lahat. Meron, thank you for pointing this out. Merong Olonga po, may Pampanga. <laughs> they, have, they, have, they have told us, uh, they have told this representation, Your Honor, na lahat po nang walang uh, stationing, linagyan na po nila. So, and they will furnish you a list. Ho. So thank you for that service you but, performed. For by the, the way, as we proceed, no. Sa bandang Gapan San Fernando daw yun, yung section ho na yan. Yun nga yung tawag sa Jose Abad Santos, sabi nyo, Gapan San Fernando Uh, Olonga po road. Yun yung Jose Abad Santos, actually. Pero mahaba pa rin eh. Where is it? May station na daw ho. I would just like to clarify, Mr. President, uh, the city sponsor. Projects po, tinitignan namin, uh, I, I, I really don't mind, and I, hindi ko naman tinatanong sino yung mga district representatives doon, just to be objective, ano. So, eto, sinabi ko yun dahil ito, Quezon City, itagaroon yung ating Senate President. Total amount, 276,711,000 million seven hundred eleven thousand pesos. Uh, nakalagay lang dito, wala, Quezon City lang eh. Malit lang ho ang Quezon City. And <laughs> joke lang po, joke lang Barrios po. ano eh. <laughs> It's probably the biggest natin, uh, city yeah, in Metro Manila. Hindi malaman na kung saan eh. And then, 315 million pesos, Tagig City. Very vague yung description. Barrios roads lang eh. 
Saan po ito? Kasama na rin ho daw sa Irata ho yun. In fact, yung earlier, can I get the earlier document? Yeah. Yung sa Gapan, sa JASA. So I can read it into the record. Ilang pages yung JASA? While they're retrieving the JASA, Your Honor. While we're retrieving the Quezon City information, yung JASA po na discussed earlier, ngayon may kilometer 69 plus 1,010 to kilometer 70 plus 331, kilometer 70 plus 357 to kilometer 71 plus 803.67. Okay. So, and so forth, yeah. Your Honor. So, nasa Irata. Opo. Ilang opo. pages po ba yung saga ay yung, ano, yung DPWH? Yung portion na lang? How It's many over pages? 100. Close to 200, Your Honor. 160 200. or something like eh, that. Eh, kung yeah. Pawad Project may Irata, aabot tayo ng mga 1,000 pages sa DPWH. Yeah. Magpuputol lang huna tayo ng puno sa ng konti. Saka Irata. <laughs> ah, 737 pages. QC, you can find it. Ang, ang, ang point that I'm trying to uh, raise here, Mr. President, is, di ba yung planning, dapat nauna yan. Bago pa sa NEP, nakaplano na tayo lahat. Identified na natin yung mga projects, kung saan, pinpointed. Kasi kung nasa gaan na, saka pa lang tayo magmamodify. O kaya, of course, authorized naman kayo magmodify. Ano? Pero, reflective ng medyo may problema sa planning. Pag, uh, the Secretary agrees with you that, that uh, yeah. they can, they can I'm probably do better. The, uh, the department, uh, I know. You know the process. I, I, I know kung saan yung problema. Maraming projects hindi talaga sa kanila, binigay lang sa kanila. Tama ba yun, Secretary? <laughs> Marami daw ho talagang yung... nagbibigay. Marami daw ho talagang nagbibigay. But, Nang, but they uh, try submission. to, they really validate. Uh, yeah. That's why sometimes some planning takes time, Your Honor. Yeah. <clears throat> Meron pa dito, 226.9 million construction, rehabilitation of various roads in Makati City. Saan po yung mga various roads in Makati City? Tanong ho natin kay Senator Urbina. <laughs> just, just kidding. <laughs> Palay ko, hindi rin alam ni Nancy ito. <laughs> Meron din? Oh, so, irata rin yan. Rata. I identified, ma-identify nyo ako saan yung various roads in Makati City. Let's show it to you. Ito po yung irata nila. Ito po. Uh, just for the record, I'm showing it to the body, Your Honor. It's a uh, very thick. Uh, so. At least, nag-prepare sila ng mga irata before the interpolation. Well, I, I, I give full credit to the gentleman from Cavite, Your Honor, because if he, if not for his eagle eyes, baka hindi na, we would take these things for granted, Your Honor. I'm suspecting na si Asik Mulano, Pag nagme-meeting tungkol sa relocation natin, hinihingi na yung... <laughs> Baka dapat ganun. Kaya nakarito ng irata. Mas maganda. <laughs> Pero okay din yun. That's lateral coordination in the Opo. works. Opo. Uh, okay. Another project, Region 1. Kalagay region dito. One, no, one. An item, construction of bridges, Bintar, Ilocos Norte. 500,000 pesos. Anong klaseng tulay po yung papagawa natin? Bridges, ha? Hindi ito bridge. Construction... Construction, ha? hindi ito repair or rehabilitation. Of bridges, plural. 500,000 pesos. Ano po yung klaseng tulay ang may papagawa natin sa 500,000 pesos? Bridges, hindi lang isa. Pwede bang makakawa ng uh, details ng project? Anong klaseng tulay? Baka meron these, kayong these are perspective. usually project pagaganyan. They're undergoing study, Your Honor. Tapos they will in, in augment the item later. Oh. Baka meron kayong perspective. Oh. <laughs> Baka pwede maipakita kung ano itsura ng tulay. Kailangan ng microscope. Oh. So, okay, yeah, they said they will submit in the errata. That okay, will be part you. of it, Your Honor. Construction of roads, Bakara. Bakara, Ilocos Norte. 1,680,000 pesos. Construction of roads, Balakad, Nilocos Norte, 500,000 pesos. Concreting of roads, Urdaneta, Pangasinan, 10 million pesos. Walang identifying uh, station limits, kaya ano. Nasa oh. Irarta rin siguro yan? Lahat ng Ilocos Norte, Bakara. They will identify your I don't even know who the congressman or congresswoman is, ah, now ah. Basta ito, titignan lang namin, 
issues lang, hindi opo, ano. Opo, opo. Uh, I want to make myself clear kasi naaway ko ng mga congressmen, Mr. President. <laughs> no, Your Honor, we, I think you're, you're correct on principle, Your Honor. Construction of roads, Pasukin, Ilocos Norte. Pidig, Ilocos Norte. 1,970,000, 1,580,000, 1,530,000, 1,980,000. Vintar. Wala pong iba ng details. Saan po ito? Nasa irata rin siguro? Before we pass the guide, they will give us the details, Your Honor. Because it, according to them, according to the regional director, it's been validated. Kasubo nandi to nata ngayon ba 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 Meron pang isang construction of road sa Nicolas Pangasinan, 4 million. Ano po yun? Yung isa, concreting of roads sa Nicolas. Yung isa, construction of roads sa Nicolas. According to them, the problem sometimes is that some local roads don't have station limits, Your Honor. It's only national roads which have station limits. Walang mga kilometer posts? Meron pa bang walang kilometer posts na lugar sa Pilipinas? Lahat ng national roads meron, pero yung local hindi daw lahat meron. Ay, yun nga ang problema. You know, we have to find a way of identifying, Your Honor. Otherwise, it might be susceptible to fraud or to... Yeah. Ito rin ang... Yeah. Ito rin ang isang issue no? related to the uh, 65%, 35%. Kung lahat ng local roads, i-download na lahat sa local, i-capacitate natin yung local, sila na magpagawa, mas madali nila makita. Tayo hindi natin makita sa national. That's something we can do when we implement the Mandanas ruling, Your Honor. Yun we can uh, take away some budgets from the bigger agencies uh, with the devolved, uh, para mapilis rin yung... Yung mga devolved functions, <laughs> ito na-discuss natin sa... Uh, general principles, 182 billion pesos yung binigay, pero nasa national. Yeah. But ito yung devolved functions na pwede namang ibigay sa local. In the or, future, I think. Uh, well, yeah, nasa local, ano, mm -hmm. pero uh, ang ira, hiningi ng uh, Governor's League when, we, when they visited yes. us, di ba, 100 billion yes. para pakonsuelo nila sa ira. Pero hindi nila alam, meron silang 182 billion na para sa devolved functions nila. Nakalodge po sa national agency. Hindi naman natin ma-convert and we discuss it with the Attorney Yoli. Kung i-convert na lang natin by way of uh, legislation yung, uh, yung amount na sa mga devolved, hindi rin magagamit sa development kasi 20% lang ang pwede sa INPRE, sa development, di ba? Kung un uh, unlike yes. yung 180 billion, nakakalat na yun, right, mas malaki doon sa That's development. Correct. That's correct. And minsan yung 20%, hindi lahat napupunta rin sa INPRE. Minsan, personal services. Batan Island, circumferential road. Two separate amounts. 7.5 million. Yung isa naman, 2.096 million. Ilan bang circumferential road sa Batan? Ang lit-lit ng barangay lang yun eh. There are two items. Parehong circumferential road. Region 5. Region 5. Kay Joey yata ito. Salseta. <laughs> Ayun pala. Eduarte. Di ba si RD Eduarte Region 5? Tapos si... Oh, sige. Sagutin na muna natin yung batan. Bakit dalawang items pa yung isang circumferential? Dalawa ba circumferential road sa Batan? Isa lang. Bakit dalawa pa items? There's only one according to them, Your Honor. There's oh, pero only one. Bakit dalawang items? Isang 7.5 million, isang 2.096 million. 
maski dalawa contractor, isang Mga item 50. na lang. Mga 50 niyan. They will check on that. Uh, it seems he's not aware at this moment, Your Honor. Ah, ganun ba? Bago ka lang ba? Bagong, bagong kukuha. He's the ARD, Your Honor. Can we get back to you on that yes. Batan item, Your Honor? Pareho rin. Yung Batan, nasa municipality ng Rapu-Rapu ito eh. Yung Rapu-Rapu, island din ito. No? Island municipality and there's an island barangay. Kung tama, tama ba yun, uh, RD? Island municipality and yet there's there's still an island barangay which is Batan. Diyan <laughs> 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 ka sasagot sa sponsor. Yes, it's an, he confirms your what your yes. information. And it's then, an island barangay. Similarly, Rapu-Rapu, Circumferential Road, dalawang items pa rin. Isang 7.5, isang 1.877. So, isang circumferential road, bakit dalawang items, dalawang projects pa? He pledges to get back to you just like the issue of Batan, Your Honor. We, we commit to get back to you on those. Ito, buti wala si Sherwin. Valenzuela City. Two projects for drainage along Avocado Street. Exactly worded and funded. Ang pagkaiba lang, yung isa nagdoblo yung Valenzuela City. Valenzuela City, Valenzuela City. Pero parehong pareho yung wordings. How is that? <coughs> According to the Secretary, that's probably a typographical error, Your Honor. We'll correct it, Your Honor. Pero dalawa eh. Oo nga, tanggalin na yung isa, Your exactly Honor. Exactly worded. So tatanggalin yung isa. Uh, just one of two things, Your Honor. They will either... Uh, so, so, tatanggalin yung isang 10 million kasi pareho lang naman eh. It's good. There's two possibilities according to the Secretary, Your Honor. It, it's a, either a typographical error or uh, it's a phase one, phase two, and uh, ipagsasama na lang ho siguro. Opo. Yeah. There could be different sections yes. of the, but okay. they will look into it, Your Honor. Yeah, thank you. Now, may we know the details of the 500 million pesos, uh, peso appropriation for bridge rehabilitation? Masyadong big then. Tapos meron pang and other related activities. Ano ibig sabihin ng other related activities? They will give you the breakdown, Your Honor. Ano yung other related activities? Uh, they said it's, it's the preparation for the big one or the earthquake, Your Honor. So it's repair, uh, rehabilitation. Yung other related oh, but they can break it down. They will give you a listing, Your Honor. Yeah. Kung related sa calamity, sa earthquake, di ba dapat nasa NDRMF yan? Preparation. It's preparation. I think, ah, I guess, they're talking about strengthening uh, okay. particular bridges, Your Honor. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, Secretary was quoted the other day about the need to strengthen Guadalupe Bridge, for instance, Your Honor, okay. in preparation. So it's, it's Pero, a retrofitting of sorts. So walang specifics ito dahil ano? Meron po. Bibigyan po bibigay po uh -huh. nila sa iyo. So, na meron ng study do sa mga bridges na kailangang strengthen, reinforce. Yes, Your Honor. Would you like and a they, copy they of the list, study? They have a list. Yes, yes, Your Honor. There is a list. Now, nung nag-bicam deliberation tayo last year for for this year's budget, na pag-usapan natin, wala na yung dredging, wala na desilting. <laughs> eh, may sumulput na naman dito. Ayan. Ano? Tatanggalin. You'll, we will delete, huh? He will delete, sabi nila. So, <laughs> I'm just repeating what they said, Your Honor. Saan ba ito? What they said, uh, dredging, they will put it, they will remove all the capital and, outlay. And purchase. They will remove yeah. it, yes. And they will include it in the maintenance, and this Your is Honor. how much? 15 million, 10 million, 20 million, 20 million, 44 million. 
Diba? Yeah, it's over 100 million, Your Honor. You say ko, 15 million. One Luna, 15 They said they, they're willing to delete that, Your Honor. And, and they will just put it in maintenance. Okay. Uh, so it's a regular, which is probably capital better. Outlay, capital oh, outlay. Wag na sa capital outlay. Ah, ho, na. Sa maintenance na lang po. Mas maganda rin ho yun kasi reg, mas, most likely it will be on a regular basis rather than a one-time okay. basis, Thank Your you. Honor. So effectively deleted as of 10 to, uh, or 5 to, tw 5 to 11. <laughs> now, gravel road. Anong policy sa gravel road? Pag nag-open kayo ng road, Dati pa ba yung sinauna noon na igagravel muna preparatory sa concreting or di ba diretso na tayo nagko-concrete? They have uh, an explanation, Your Honor. When you open a new road, uh, you, you put, they put gravel, and it has to settle down for one year. So there's a one-year gap between opening it and graveling it, and then actually uh, concreting the road, Your Honor. So hindi pwedeng concrete to hindi kagad. So policy ninyo, <coughs> pero selective ito, di ba? Hindi lahat ng you open a road, kailangan i-gravel muna, kasi yung iba settled na naman siguro yung, based on engineering, yung... Uh, Siguro geodetic. Kasi parang sayang na may gagravel mo. Eh. Mawawash away din yun eh. It depends also, on, you're correct, Your Honor. It depends on the condition of the soil according yes. to them. Because uh, pag tinambakan daw ho yun, yun talaga, antayin daw ho yun. Pero pagka matigas na daw po yung lupa, pwede na daw pong ikonkreto ho yun. Okay. Next item, 603 million pesos. Tulay ng Pangulo para sa kaunlarang pang-agraryo. Saan po ito? I think this is uh, for DAR, pero the, the funds, uh, or the fund is lodged in the uh, DPWH. Pero saan ito? Identified ba ito? That's a DAR bridge project, yeah, I know. Your Honor. Uh, but the, they are the implementing agency. Huh? But yeah. yung budget is large in the DPWH. Yes, so DPWH They're the implementing agency, Your Honor. Yeah, implementing agency. Masyadong general yung tulay ng Pangulo. Wala bang ano man lang ito? Uh, identified na... Who, who, who does the listing? Darda will... Uh, uh, Dar is the one who provides the listing. So, so hindi pa na-provide? Binibigay lang ho sa kanila yun. They will, they will get the listings, Your Honor. Okay. Ito na yung ano... Parang uh, ewan ko kung tayo po ito o cut and paste. Requesting for the improvement of road nabagan to binaban apari kagayan. How can you implement a request, Mr. President? That, that's the, I think that's the typographical. Yan, yan talaga typographical. Ho. Typo, it, it or, be typo or cut and paste? <laughs> typo in the white. yung cover letter nito. <laughs> <laughs> Baka na cut and paste yung letterhead. Parang hindi ko matanggap na tayo po ito. Parang cut and paste ito na isinaksak na lang doon sa, sa GAB or sa NEP. Requesting. Ngayon lang nakakita ng ganito, honestly. Requesting for the improvement of a road. Yeah. What is it now? What is the... ano na nga? Hindi pa na-approve. Tinanggal na po yung requesting. <laughs> Kasi na-approve na daw. So good, good as approved. <laughs> Tinanggal lang yung requesting. Opo, opo. Improvement of the road. Pero may stationing din ito. May limit. Stationing. Ah, wala. Wala. Walang ano. Pag local daw, wala daw tao talagang stationing. Yung susunod, water management facilities. Parang na-misplace siya ata itong water supply. Yung mga kasama niya, iba lahat. Parang siya lang napapaiba. Ah, sa water supply sa nalagay. Oh, naligaw eh. School building. Yes. You're on the, I, I suspect that's also a, a misplaced item. Yeah, misplaced item. We'll ask them to correct that, Your Honor. It should be, if it's really a school building, it should be in the school building. Sa inyo rin. Sa kanila rin po yung school buildings, but they will, they will just transfer the so item. Nasa, nasa erata na rin oh. yan. 
Now, ito yung ROW, no? Ito, this is a perennial uh, issue that we <coughs> always discuss. Napansin namin doon sa special provision, inalis yung portion na kailangan maayos muna yung ROW bago mag-start yung implementation. Why did you uh, propose to delete that particular paragraph? Uh, we discussed that with the, in brief with the Director Doblon, Your Honor. That was in the 2018... Uh, yeah. I think that provision was the 2018 GAA. But uh, I think in practice, it's very difficult, uh, Your Honor, for them to proceed with the project. Kasi minsan yung right of way only affects a portion of the project. So, ang maganda sana, ang gusto nila, matuloy na nila yung proyekto while they are negotiating for that okay. uh, particular right of way. Kasi kung if it's a small portion or percentage of the project uh, and, it, and that provision is there, it will hamper their ability to complete the project. Ma Madidelay yeah. yung Th that's, project. That's Your reasonable Honor. enough. Yes. Kaya lang, huwag na natin tanggalin yung provision. Anyway, covered naman talaga ng ROW low eh. 10752 ba yun? Ayan. 10752. Yes. Eh, maski alisin natin sa special provision, that will not it's exempt It's a provision of law. Huh? From the provision of law. Na exempt you sa... Yeah, tama. So, sa amendment, I'll just uh, propose to retain that particular paragraph. Yes, Your Honor. That, that's that's uh, they agree with you. It, it's in the law. So anyway, nakita yeah. namin na parang anim na lang daw yung merong including ROW. So okay, they will just amend also the description of the project yeah. para mapabilis. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason uh, as uh, uh, as advanced by the sponsor is is yeah acceptable. Okay, no matter. Kasi kaya madali yung buong stretch. Opo. Meron kasi na settle na portion na may ROW issue. Opo. Pwedeng i-proceed na lang. Opo. So Opo. we can close our eyes. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Ito, bato-bato sa langit. Ha? Pero wala akong intention dito. Construction of multi-purpose building, kolehyo ng lungsod ng Lipa City, Batangas. A. Construction, completion of multi-purpose building. Sa NEP it po ito, sa National Expenditure. Uh, 70 million. Construction, completion of multi-purpose building. Same. 75 million. Construction, completion of multi-purpose building. 100 million. Uh, Gano'ng karami po ba yung multi-purpose building sa, sa kolehyo ng Lipa, Batangas? Bakit? Napakarami multi-purpose buildings ito. Although I understand this was deleted sa Senate version. Ah, wala na yan. I don't know who deleted it, but okay. it was deleted. But I think Senator Reg is raising his hand. Ah, sige. Yeah. We yeah. want to hear from my Lodi. Yes, uh, Mr. <laughs> Petro. Our Lodi, our Lodi. Thank you to, to my eagle-eyed uh, Senator also from Cavite and the uh, Philippines. Uh, this is found in the NEP budget, yes. and these were requests made by the city mayor and the congressman. No? Mm -hmm. So there are two ways of doing the budget, right? Uh, one is through the Regional Development Council, yes. as you pointed out, only 14%. And the other is you work out with the line agencies concerned, no? whether it's a DPWH, in this case a DPWH. No? So you submit projects to your district engineer, re regional director, so on and so forth. Okay? Now, this project is already in the budget of the city government. Okay. They've decided to do it themselves. So, in the committee report in the Senate, tinanggal na namin yan. Nauna yung budget sa Lipa. They will finance it. Tinanggal na yan. Pinalitan na lang yung mga project na to, to other projects. Because this is not uh, a state college, I understand. Local. Local. Lo uh, yes. local. LU LUC po siya, LUC. Yeah. However, LUC. it is accredited by CHED. It's one of the better local government colleges. Not only serving the students of Lipa, but the entire... Check. Uh, Fort okay. District of Batangas, including from Quezon, may get mga 10,000 students yan na accredited ng CHED sa free public college tuition. Okay, thank you. Uh, when we deleted it, was it redistributed? Kasi hindi namin makita kung saan napunta eh. Yes, Your Honor. Merong redistribution? Yes, Your Honor. And itemized naman? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, thank you. Thank you very yes. much. Hindi ko nahanapin kung saan. <laughs> Basta uh, tama na yung itemized. Palagay ko, alam nyo na yung kung saan na redistribute. 
Ito, this was taken up during the uh, committee hearing, yung sa flood mitigation structures along Don Sol. Ito yung overlap eh. Na, na resolve na ito because you uh, you uh, submitted to us a clarification ano? and we want to be further clarified dun sa clarification na binigay ninyo because eto ipakita nga yung ano yung mga segments regarding the physical target your honor construction of flood control structures along Banuang Gurang Donsol section Donsol Sorsogon the answer is as per approved plans and programs of works the physical target is 318 lineal meters with station limits of station 0 plus 680 to station 0 plus 998, Your Honor. Yes, there was a modification submitted by uh, request submitted by the RD of uh, Region 5. Last August, di ba? Apo. Yeah, okay. Andiyan yung mga segments. Nasaan na ba yung ano natin? Ayan. A, C, A, A, B, di ba? So, nakalagay dyan, completed as of 2018, completed as of 2017. Completed. Pero sa gaan ng uh, 2019, meron ulit. Pareho rin eh. Kung completed na, bakit? Of course, merong uh, modification request na sinabit and ibang stretch na yung uh, tinutumbok ng modification. The issue here is, Bakit napasama pa sa NEP at saka sa gaan ng 2019? Kung completed na. Kung completed na. And then, imamodify lang ng August. So, wala rin planning. Ang planning nangyayari before the GAA is approved or is enacted. The, the GAB, the budget measure is enacted in Tulo. Dapat, na-finalize na. Pero yung request for modification submitted only last August. Another issue, umiksi yung ano kasi nag-overlap eh. Umiksi pero hindi naman umiksi yung amount. <laughs> Pareho pa rin. Yung, uh, yung cost Uh, this is the explanation, Your Honor. Uh, based on the modification, the program project length was shortened due to higher quantity for item 508-1, hand-laid rock embankment, meaning more expensive, meaning uh, that, that hard rock, hand-laid hand -laid rock embankment would cost more, Your Honor. It's more expensive. Hindi, pero ang usapan muna yung gaa, parehong pareho yung segment. As, recommend, as, uh, as recommended sa GAA, bakit yung, uh, yung amount hindi nakatipid e eh, nag-overlap nga? Nakatipid ng 300, ilan yan? Mm, to only 344 linear meters from 610 linear meters. They modified it, Your Honor, to reflect the, yes, that, I know. that there will the be no overlap. But the cost remains the same. Eh. Na umiksi na nga, pareho pa rin yung halaga. Hindi pa pag umiksi, makakatipid tayo. Portion na yan. Because, because. Uh, they, they're saying yung, yung gagawin pa ay mas mahal na ho. Because yung yung one-lane road, kasi magsalubong ito eh. Ewan ko, kung magkaiba yung contractor, hindi siguro nag-usap. Yung isang lane, pumunta rito, isang lane pa sa lubong, nag-overlap sila. Nung kinorek, na-shorten siya ng from 610 to 344. Nung sinabit uli sa, for, for uh, GAA, the same funding uh, requirement ang sinabit. Mm -hmm. Referring to the same segment of road na nagkadoble na nga. When they modified, siyempre, iba na yung segment. Uh, are we talking about Masbati or Sorsogon, Your Honor? Hindi. So, uh, Sorsogon pa rin. Sorsogon pa rin. Wala pa. And advance naman yung ating... Ano, but yung mas pati, nga, ganun din naman ang issue. Well, yun nga ang sagot nila ho, yung uh, dito sa portion na hindi pa nagagawa, mas mahal daw ho talaga dahil sa iba daw yung, te yung, yung terrain. They need to make a higher embankment. No, my point is, as, re as recommended, as uh, reflected in the NEP and in the GAA, 
they were, ang assumption, they were referring to the same segment, yung A to C, pero ang cost, yun ang point eh. Wala pa tayo sa modification. I see. Anyway, ang uh, ang ano lang dito ang point I'm trying to understand your honor. Sana uh, wag na lang maulit. Apo. Ayun na lang. Pero I just want to understand also para klaro. Yes. Yung point niyo po is uh, nag-overlap ho. Tapos na ho dapat tapos inulit. Pinapondo ano ulit. I see, I see. Pinapondo. Uh, we'll, we'll make sure Saka. dapat tama yung point. That goes to your earlier point na the moment you put specific uh, stations or limits, at least doon makikita ho. So we'll yes. ask them to make it a practice ho, your honor, para walang ang repetition of ano. Walang chance for double funding or or repetition, Your Honor. Yun lang. Wag na lang sana maulit. Opo, opo. Thank you. You must bate parang ganon din ang historia. So wag na lang maulit. <laughs> wag na natin ulitin. Pero wag narin yung ulitin. Next item, yung local projects implemented by the central government. Yung various uh, infrastructure. Yung... Uh, Actually, blips ito eh. Hindi naman to BILN. Various local infrastructure projects. <laughs> Di ba mas magandang i-download na lang natin para bigyan natin ang opportunity yung mga local government units to implement their own projects. Total, local projects ito eh. Para mabawasan din kayo ng trabaho at the same time, matuto naman yung local government units to implement their own uh, infrastructure projects. Kasi kung laging central, hindi na sila matututo. Uh, according to them, it's up to really up to Congress, Your Honor. Uh, kasi tayo daw ang may final touch sa budget. Pero ang request nila, kapag ida-download sa local government yung funds, Diretso na po sa local government na yes. hindi sila ang legally required to liquidate the funds, Your correct, Honor. Kasi correct. parang nadagdagan sila na trabaho kung ganun. Kasi parang they have to deal account, with the accountability. accountability ho, oh, kung sino may uh, hawak ng pondo, yun din ang dapat maging accountable. Yun lang, yun lang ang, they have no objection, Your Honor. Okay. Ha? I think we should uh, discuss this further. Opo, opo. Para naman makapacitate yung mga local government units din. Opo. At saka mabawasin yung trabaho, they can concentrate on big ticket or yung national uh, projects. Ito na yung pinoint out ni uh, Senate Minority Leader, ano, yung sa disbursement over obligation. The top two, ito yung DOTR saka DPWH. DPWH, yung obligations incurred, 629 billion. As per uh, sa OB. Ang disbursement, 225 billion. So, ang disbursement over obligation is a misly... 36.3 percent. That's for the DPWH. 2017, oh yeah, no? 2017. Yeah, 2017. Uh, DTR, halos ganun din. Anyway, the OTR. Sa 2018, halos hindi nag-improve because yung D DPWH, 696 billion, and disbursement, 298 billion. So, again, 42.9 percent. Ang tanong, bakit, uh, bakit ganito? Ano bang problema? Your Honor, uh, si Secretary Mark uh, called my attention to, it looks bad on paper, Your Honor, but uh, kasi dati ho, before we adopted the cash-based budgeting, uh, they actually had two years to complete the project. So, yes. sabi niya, if you take into account that fact uh, and adjust the uh, rates, kasi let's say for 2020 ho, 
uh, they're not just they won't just be implementing or or no, maybe that's a bad example because uh, that we're already on cash base no. But let, let's take a previous year, Your Honor, like let's say 2018. They're actually implementing even the past years. So yung point niya, there if you include the past years uh, uh, projects, uh, their disbursement is actually higher. Like. Uh, yeah. So in twenty in five in twenty eighteen, they actually disbursed five hundred ninety billion. So, ang ang suggested ko sa para hindi masamanting nasa papel, they should closely coordinate with DBM para hindi para yung reflect sa sao yung tamang reflection. Yes, yes. Di ba? Actually, I didn't realize that until he actually just mentioned it to me about an hour ago, and I I realized oh nga no, kasi and sabi rin yah, most projects hindi talaga na ko complete in one year, so. Yes, it, kaya it, it nga, really, iba ang tanong ko doon sa okay. general principles, viable ba yung mag-cash-based? Mag yes. I, I really don't I know don't the answer, so. to be honest, Your so. Honor. Opo. I think the most viable at the moment is the hybrid, Your yes. Honor. Hybrid. Opo. Kasi nga, we keep on uh, passing a joint resolutions, di ba? To extend. <laughs> Mangyayari, so, natatagdagan lang yung trabaho ng Kongreso kasi nag-adjust-adjust po yes. tayo. So next year, baka may joint resolution na naman tayo to extend up to 2022. So, ganun din. Sana ilagay na lang ho natin sa batas na it's a hybrid already. It's the most practical, I think, Mr. President. But yes, your point is well taken. And uh, from the department's point of view, medyo ayaw rin nila yung uh, they look bad by with this number. So, I think they will like your suggestion. They will look, up, look favorably upon your suggestion to adjust the, maybe have an alternative measurement, Your Honor, which takes into account the two-year uh, obligation and disbursement cycle. Okay, may mga nakapila, so I'll just terminate my interpolation and allow the, uh, our other colleagues to ask their questions. Thank you. Thank you Senator very President. much, uh, uh, Senator Ping, and thank you for your contributions here. I think you've definitely made the budget more transparent and uh, more responsive in our democracy, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor.